Now you will see the reading passage for three minutes. Remember, it will be available to you again when it is time for you to write. The lecture will begin, so keep your headset on until the lecture is over. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. So there's this radical idea out there that extensive lead poisoning brought down the great Roman Empire. Well, there's one major problem with this theory, um, which is that the evidence for widespread lead poisoning among ancient Rome's ruling class is very easily refuted. First off, applying lead to the skin is unlikely to result in lead poisoning. Admittedly, it's not a healthy practice, but the main effects would be no more serious than flaking of the skin and some scarring. For lead poisoning to occur, the lead has to find its way into the bloodstream. In other words, it must be ingested. And I can assure you that the Romans didn't make a habit of ingesting their cosmetics. Okay, uh, continuing on. I'm sure we'd agree that it can be risky to use lead pipes, but the Romans didn't have to worry about the water supply being polluted. Why is this? Well, the water flowing through those pipes was high in calcium, which formed mineral deposits on the inside of the pipes, basically creating a protective coating between the pipes and the water. And the result? The water the Romans drank had very little direct contact with lead. Now on to that sugary stuff the Romans were so fond of. It's true, sapa was boiled in lead pots and had some lead in it. But we should keep in mind that the sapa was heavily watered down when consumed. It was added to wine in very small quantities, 
so the total amount of lead being ingested was really trivial. It was certainly too small of a dosage to cause poisoning. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. 